on August 31st, 2020, the Honorable Supreme Court of India ordered the demolition of Twin Towers, Apex and Kain by Supertech Builders. The process begins with a thorough assessment of the building, including the placement of structural supports and the type of materials used in construction. The goal is to ensure the building will fall in the direction of the predetermined fall zone. And the task is ensured to none other than Edifice Engineering, an Indian international company headed by three partners, Jigar Chela, Utkash Mehta and Chirag Chela, in technical joint venture with the team of South Africa's Jet Demolition Company headed by Managing Director, Mr. Joe Brinkman. Assessment takes two days in the presence of all governing bodies. Their action plans and designs of implosion then presented are approved across all the departments of the Government of India. As per Supreme Court's directions and the directions of government, this demolition exercise was conducted and through a proper uh, selection process involving various technical agencies, Edifice Engineering was selected for this uh, demolition exercise after carefully vetting of their credentials. Based on the performance and the action plan given, Edifice Engineering uh, was also recommended by Central uh, Building Research Institute, uh, which is a research organization under Council of Scientific and Industrial Research, Government of India. The team of FIs, they are very competent, they work well. Since the day one, they were in touch with the department regarding the compliance of the environmental norms, laws, rules, whatever so need to be done. They try to follow each and everything. I must appreciate them for their rigorous effort to maintaining the environmental laws and parameters all around the area. I am Atul Chaturvedi, resident of PTS Village Apartments Owner Association. We were the closest stakeholder apart from Emerald Court where these twin towers were located because these towers were almost 30 to 35 meters from our nearest residential complex. We were quite sure that the entire exercise would be done with tremendous precision and with tremendous expertise. When we won the case, we had mentioned in the court that Edifice and Jet is the only company which can make the demolition successful. And owner of the SuperTag had also told me that it is his 40 years experience that they cannot demolish it without the impact on the S2 which is 9 meter away. Having seen everything, they have done exactly according to their plan which they had told us in advance. This feat was accomplished by a team of engineers, contractors and hard work of almost 40,000 man days. The best technology available in demolition was used and we had edifice engineering and jet demolition from South Africa to execute this job. The job was done under my supervision and in the last six, eight months of the proof checking, the blast design, the methodology, I had a role to play in wetting it. Though the pressing of the button was just a few seconds and the building was brought down in nine seconds. We had to do extreme engineering to get to this level. I congratulate the team of Jet Demolition and Edifice Engineering for this wonderful job and I wish them all success. And as a civil engineer, all this gives me extreme pleasure to contribute at a small bit in nation building. Thank you. Namaste. Thus started the journey of bringing down the giant. India's tallest demolition by way of implosion. Join us as we take a closer look at the science and art of implosion demolition and team of experts who will make it happen.
before it's covered. This is how it looks. This is the hole that's being drilled. The explosives are coming here. This is where we put the explosives in. So, underneath the geotex on the channel, if you come to this side, you'll see how they wrap it. our explosives into this column. After the explosives has been inserted, we're gonna, we're gonna stem the material. When that is all done, we're gonna connect all the, the columns with each other for the enclosure. So this is typical connection. If we do not do this, um, when the explosives are being detonated, we will flow concrete all over the show. So we've done this, we will take everything in there. Nothing will leave the footprint of this structure. protection that is the parameter curtain we say which is going to be fixed up entire covering the floor from the external peripheral side. Myself, uh, Dr. D.P. Kanungo. I'm chief scientist from CSIR Central Building Research Institute. CPRI has added one concept of monitoring the whole process. We are visually monitoring through many different cameras. There are high resolution, high speed cameras, thermal cameras. We, we are monitoring the ground vibration away from the uh, demolition structure at different distances, putting it in the basements and different floors of nearby buildings and also away from the building so that we see how the vibration propagates through the medium, through the ground, into the surrounding medium or to the surrounding structure. The another addition is we are putting 10 black boxes in the two, uh, in the twin towers, five each in each tower and that black box holding a sensor which is called IMU, that is Inertia Measuring Unit, will measure the acceleration and rotation during the demolition. So why we are calling it back box? After the demolition, when the debris CND waste will be sent to the CND waste management plant, that time we will recover the boxes from the debris and then we we'll go for the analysis. Our role is 
not just not a expert advice or or getting some documents or or getting in signal but we have reassured that the plan is implemented on ground and we are satisfied with it so there will be some environmental issues like dust clouds and all so with time it will be tackled and we are having take uh, precautionary measures from noida authority side for for uh, dust cloud management and cnd waste management with the help of edifice so so we are we are quite confident that this will be a very safe demolition thank you As you all know, finance is the backbone and blood of for any business. And when the project of this magnitude is to be undertaken, it demands a lot. Once the decision was taken by partners to execute this project, the first thing for us was to mobilize the funds and keep it and keep the liquid funds ready uh, for a few months. Other uh, challenge was to manage the cash flow in such a way that the uh, work at this site is not hampered due to any financial issues, and we manage it very well. Of course, there was a speed breaker in form of the test blast results. When the test blast results were declared, the procurement increased significantly, which in turn increased our working capital requirement significantly. However, with the help of the partners and our team, we managed it very well. And today, as you can see that we are all set to go for the biggest demolition in India, abiding by the Honorable Labor Supreme Court's deadlines of 20th August 2022. Here I can proudly say that the Edifice Engineering is the biggest demolition contractor in India not only in terms of the machinery it has but also in terms of the finance and execution capabilities. I am Utkarsh Mehta, one of the partners of Edifice Engineering. Today uh, we are very close to now to the last day. I can only see that we have tried and overcome all the challenges uh, which have come our way in the last uh, six months. In this journey, I would. Sincerely, like to thank uh, Noida Authority, Supertech, and Jet Demolition to support us in all the ways uh, which they have been doing for us six months. We, as a team, are very confident that uh, this can not go wrong by any means. So uh, let's wait for the last day and have cheers on the success of the last. Hi, folks. This is Jigar Chheda, partner of Divya Construction and Edifice Engineering. Currently, we are doing a, one of the biggest and challenging jobs of India, which is demolition of Super Tech Towers with implosion. The challenge of the project is really high, and we are sitting here on the day minus one. So we hope that the project goes as per what designs and as as for the preparations we have done. Hello guys, my name is Kevin Smith, Senior Manager for Jet Demolition, Africa's premier demolition company. Good day, my name is uh, Kargilas, I'm a Site Manager for Jet Demolition. My name is Mayur Mehta, I'm Senior Project Manager in Artificial Engineering. My name is Elias Nsiri, I'm from Jet Demolition. 
and I work as a site technician. Hi, my name is Bhavin Kacharya. I am supervisor for Pachis. My name is Matthew Dube. I am the Kaka manager. Finally, the moment of truth arrives. With the push of a button, the explosives will be detonated. T minus five, four, three, two, one, zero. Within seconds, the building is reduced down to rubble. But the end result is a clean and an efficient demolition. गौतम बुद्ध नगर में अभी 28 तारीख को जो ट्विन टावर बिल्डिंग का डिमोलिशन हुआ है वो एक बहुत महत्वपूर्ण ऑपरेशन था एक बहुत ही जिम्मेदारी वाला काम था जिसको एडिफिस कंपनी प्लस उनके साथ जो जेट डिमोलिशन की टीम है बहुत खूबसूरती के साथ उसको प्लान किया एक निश्चित समय पर जो काम होना था उस निश्चित समय पर होता गया और टाइमलाइन पूरी तरह फॉलो की गई उसके लिए पूरी टीम जेट की और एडिफिस की टीम है वो बहुत बहुत बधाई की पात्र है मैं आगे के लिए भी पूरी एडिफिस टीम को उनके भविष्य के लिए और आगे के ऑपरेशन के लिए बहुत शुभकामनाएँ देता हूँ थैंक यू